Hi, my friends. I'm so glad that you're here today. It is wonderful to be here with you today. And today, I want to share with you a story about crow. Yeah, crows are really smart birds. When I was a teacher, I would go outside and shoo the crows away. Because here's what they did. When we were inside the classroom, the crows would come, and with their beaks, they would unzip the backpack, steal the kids' lunches, take them up to the roof of the building and leave the trash everywhere. And sometimes they'd even go into the trash can to find anything they could, especially after recess and lunch. Well, this story is about a crow. And I want you to think what I'm telling it. Is the crow solving a problem? I'm a crow and I'm so flying all around, but I'm so thirsty today. Crow looked here and Crow looked there, and when he looked down, he saw a farm. There must be some water there. Caw, caw, caw. Crow got a little closer, but he also saw a woman hanging up some clothes on the clothesline, and he thought, hmm, I don't want her to notice me, but I'm so thirsty, I have to find some water. So Crow went and landed on a table, and there on the table, he saw a pitcher, not a picture, but a pitcher. A pitcher is a container that holds a liquid. He thought, oh, God, God, there must be water in there. So Crow got closer and closer and closer. He got to the pitcher, looked inside. Ah, God, God, the water's way down below and I can't reach it with my beak and I'm so thirsty. He looked to the right, and there on the ground were some pebbles. Oh, go, go. He went down and picked up a pebble and dropped it into the pitcher. Got another and another and another. Until at last, the water rose to the rim of the pitcher. So the crow reached with his beak. <laughs> and drank up the water until he was filled. And he felt now he could continue his journey. And the woman did not even notice him. Crow was lucky. Crow went and flew away. Did Crow solve the problem by using his thinking brain? He did. Well, now let's invite Purple Monster to come out today. Hi, Purple Monster, how are you doing? I'm fine. I missed you. Oh, I missed you too. Purple Monster, I just told a story about solving problems. Do you know how to solve problems? Well, I got a problem. Could you help me solve it? Sure, Purple Monster. What's the problem? Well, I got a problem because there's this pink bird that comes to the playground. Oh, have you ever talked to the pink bird? Did you ever say, hey, pink bird, I want to be your friend? No, it's a pink bird. I can't be friends with a pink bird. Why not? You're a purple monster. I'm kind of peachy flavored, so come on. What's up? Why wouldn't you want to be friends with a pink bird? Because it's not like me. But how do you know? You know, just because the bird's not your same color and has feathers doesn't mean you couldn't possibly be friends, right? I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Well, you know, you might miss out on an opportunity to have a really good friend. So how about if we bring Pink Bird over? I don't know if I want to meet that Pink Bird. All right, let's bring Pink Bird. Pink Bird, we're so glad you could come and join us today. Hi, I'm Pink Bird. Who are you? I don't want to talk. Why not, Purple Monster? I don't know if I like Pink Bird. Oh, that would be sad, because I like you. But I'm a Purple Monster, and you're a Pink Bird. How can we like one another? Well, we're both animals, and I have feathers. You have fur. That's just a little difference, but we could make friends.
friends and have fun. Yep, a monster, think of that. That would be a way to solve a problem. Would you be willing to try? What do you like to do? I like to play on the slide. I like to go on the swings. Oh, I like those things too. But can a bird do that with me? Sure. I think you're great, even if you are a purple monster. Well, I'd like to try, even if you are a pink bird. Oh, wow, I think we've solved a problem. So could you two try it? Yes, I want to try. Okay. Well, I'd like you two to go and have some fun and realize that even if you're a purple monster, even if you're a pink bird, you can still make friendships and be peaceful in your world. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. We can live in peace. We can live in peace. We can live in peace. Deep in our hearts, we do believe that we can live in peace someday. Well, why not make that day today? Goodbye, my friends. Hope to see you again.